powder. If we could have a blessing. Our dear Heavenly Father, the Lord, we, have, we pray that you would bless the efforts and the objectives and the outcome of this City Council meeting, that it might, O oh Lord, bring forth that which be, would be beneficial unto all our community. We rely upon them. They have each have been chosen to fulfill a responsibility in our community. And we know that good government is a blessing from heaven. For government is instituted by the Lord for the welfare, the needs, and for a service unto the peoples, both rich and poor, without preference. So, dear Heavenly Father, may the deliberations that come forth be true and acceptable in thy sight. We know that if we serve thee, we serve thee in spirit and in truth, and that thy kingdom, when it comes, will be a kingdom of truth, and all that is otherwise will be banished. So help us that we might, even in our daily endeavors and endeavors of service, follow that which you have set forth for us. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> to the agenda. Uh, if I could, uh, under dangerous unfixed structures, uh, the acquisition of real estate in 10 minutes and get your session. Ten minute good session under police department for non elected personnel. Need to remove the executive session under me. Any other additions, changes to the agenda? I don't know if this is appropriate. I'd like to have one minute for a plea. <laughs> <laughs> under citizen comments, we put him first. Okay. I'll be so appreciative. <laughs> Anything else? Come on. Second. Okay. Consent agenda. Approved minutes from the regular meeting from June 4, 2013. Go. On the dishes, the agenda? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So, again, motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Consent agenda. Approved okay. minutes from the regular meeting of June 4, 2013. Um, approved appropriation ordinance of 618-2013. Is set forth below and a request to use the swimming pool for St. John Elementary PE August 26th through 30th from 1230 to 15. Is there any discussion? All in favor? First of all, I uh, thank you for the minute. That would be very great. I'd like to commend uh, your staff here. 
and a kind word for you and a care and concern for us. Uh, but I have one comment um, coming out of that. Uh, there's a couple from Alcorn who are trying to move into St. John. We'd like to bring as many people in as possible. Uh, unfortunately, they, well, they saw a house on sale and they bought it. Unfortunately, the house has a terrible track record for uh, utilities. And they have to come up with a thousand dollars to get in. Uh, your staff was very kind and we worked out a deal where we could get them having water for 200 bucks. Well, her name, dollars. So they have water turned on, but they've got to come up with a thousand dollars. And this is a young couple. And I would ask for some kind of consideration. I don't know, just, you know how you can do that. Uh, to give them a, an opportunity to get electricity. Uh, they're not related to me or the church or anything else. It's just that uh, I, I came with them. I'd really appreciate it. If you could do something, work out something to get them electricity. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm doing Street. I'd like to see if we can block off Broadway. 
and there's two reasons for that. One, we don't have access to the bathrooms at the news office, but we've got to be able to access the bathrooms here. So this is a little bit closer. The other thing is, is this is shady, and being that we start setting up at 6 o'clock in the evening, and it doesn't get dark till 9, it is just hot. Um, Mark's been the chef the entire time, and it's miserable in the sun. So we're asking if we can close off Broadway instead of 3rd Street. So between 4th and 3rd. The problem I have with that is that the laundry mat is 24 hours as long as they can still get access to that. Three times over three months? You don't think maybe we can make an exception? Set up north of it. You north know, you'd have enough room if you just close off the north side of it. Because we didn't use the whole block yet. You know, we left the St. John Bank open. You can probably just go north of it. So is that the laundromat and then the second second building second from building? the corner? Okay. We can do that. Um, I don't know. Can we get construction cones this year? I know that I don't know if I can get them from Sunny's house again. Because normally we always use Sunny's cones. I don't know if there's still over there. Just enough to block the street off. Four, six. Okay. Well, probably this side would be more the concern than the other side. But whatever you think. I'll check with Charlie to see if those cones are over there, but if it has a backup, we can use the same cones. And then if we can also have uh, three additional French girls. And then we will, we will leave them on the curb when we're done with them. <laughs> and 8 to 11 on the first two, then 8 to midnight on the last one. Uh, worked out really well in the last couple of years doing that, so we're, we're kind of excited about it. Uh, then the last thing on that is, um, <clears throat> again, we've had changes this year, so we don't have the same music um, available to us that we've had in the past. Uh, Dakota has offered to DJ for us if we can use the city sound equipment. Uh, DJs, I mean, Dakota's familiar with it. Can he do all the baby's names? And CIP will be responsible for any damages. But without that, we honestly don't have sound things that the kids wants to vote. I don't see any hands raising. <laughs> So that's kind of what we need on that, and then hopefully we won't um, ask for anything else. Um, electrical boss need the electrical turn on. That and the door left open that night. Back to the sandwich. Once again, we, you know, when we leave, we clean up, and then we come back out the next morning and clean up before everybody goes to church. Can make it as short or as long as you guys prefer. <laughs> Still short. Um, 
the biggest thing, I guess, then, uh, would be that what I'm wanting to do, some of you kind of know what I'm after, some of you don't have any idea. I would like to remodel, slash rebuild, fix the Boy Scout Tower. Um, it's got uh, some siding issues. I mean, it's had a roof recently in the last however many years. I'm not sure. Well, it's been a number of years back that it was replaced after a hailstorm. Okay. So it's, 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 it's a pretty good still looking good. It's looking. But there's there's siding, there's um, internal with, with, well, zero insulation, um, any heating and air conditioning there. There is a gas line that has the meter removed. I would like to not have gas at that building, actually. I mean, if we can do away with one utility, I think it would be a lot easier. Um, the, I have spoke with Mel a little bit about the building. I don't know a lot of the details. I think tonight maybe would be just easier to see if you guys would be okay with the Boy Scout troop and pack rebuilding or fixing the Boy Scout cabin. Do they actually own it or do we own it? From what I understand, the city owns it. See, I was under the other assumption that the Boy Scouts actually own it. Well, if somebody that's you know, up on this, because I've asked around too, trying to find out you know, what, what I just heard it's a, it's a city's. We, we've insured it. We took care of you know, making sure the roof was on and the IT worked. But that's what I've always you know, kind of ended up back with the city. I understand it was kind of a community thing at the time. If everybody got together and raised money or whatever and built it. But I, I really don't know anything other than that. So yeah. I, I don't know uh, true on, on that, how I guess maybe how would you go about finding out the true owner? Would that be even in the tax records, something like that? Would they? Maybe. I can look into that tomorrow then. Um, but kind of what I was told was it was basically just like the bathhouses and the bathrooms were a building that the city owned. So I didn't. That's why I came here. Um, so maybe. Do you want to go ahead and do a yay or nay, or do you want to wait until we can 100%? I don't have any problem doing anything down here. And the Boy Scouts will fund it. I mean, we're, we're looking in there. We've already got some donations that have been given to us to fix it, but we're wanting to go deeper. And um, we've got dollar amounts. We've got uh, local bids that have come in really nice. So uh, we definitely want to use uh, local. And it's going to be you know, a lot of volunteer work. It actually does the labor, so um, it'll be like I said, siding, insulation. Uh, we'll have to take down the walls, which are just plywood, but that's what we'll go back with. Um, it makes it really easy. You know, no mud tape, some paint, which you can do whatever you want. Um, looking at doing kind of like I'm not really sure what they're called, might be able to help me out here with the, uh, through the wall heating and AC units, all in ones, you know, um, they're electric, so. And we wouldn't need the gas line there, it would just be one less thing to have to deal with. So, um, okay, no windows. All the windows there are junk for the most part, the frames, the windows themselves. And that door, after it was broken into a few years ago, has been beaten on pretty hard, so we replace that. It will look the same as it does, minus windows. We, I've talked to a couple guys that uh, from the lodge there, they would like to see it rebuilt. But there's a big dollar difference. So that, you know, if by some miracle we could raise some kind of money like that, it might be something to come back and say, this is everybody's opinion, but I think it would be just fine just to read it what's there. So. Is, there two, is there an exit name? There is a back door that's been boarded over some years ago. You can see it on the outside, you can't see it on the inside. So I don't know. I know on the outside it's really rotten right there. Um, so. I just be concerned that's about fire. That's definitely one of my concerns as well. Yeah, and I've talked to a couple people about that. Um, you know, there's differing opinions on on that. I, I mean, if it's a city building, I'm sure some of those opinions can be overruled by rules. So, but yes, I, I do want to look at um, the option of reopening that door or just leaving it one door. But I think with uh, without windows, um, the one that might help a little bit with the south sun, although there's trees there, but also you don't have to worry about it getting broken into the windows. 
uh, rock with the glass, anything like that. So that was that was kind of the thoughts on on windows, unless you know it's just really wanted to have windows. It wouldn't take the price up that much considering the whole project. Or are you asking the city to to put in money? Put in money. Yeah. Tonight, all I would like to know is I don't really want to take a lot more time into the project if um, if it's a no-go at all. So tonight, what I would like to do is just see, is it okay that we rebuild, remodel, and fix it? Whatever, whatever it takes. Can we fix the building? Uh, I don't know if I would. No. It's good to me. If, uh, if we own it, get it done. That's right. And so maybe do I need to wait until the next one to find out who actually owns it? or? Can you guys vote and just under the assumption? I've never seen anything different, but I'm, if they probably just you know started out and then the city ended up with this type of thing. I, I really cannot get anybody that has the actual answer. It probably was I mean, part of the Brown Park. I, I think I read an article or a story or something in the history. I mean, it was, I want to say back in the 40s. I don't know. And I haven't dug deep enough, really. Um, it's been busy on my side a little bit, so I kind of put it back. There's nobody at this table that old. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I, I may be wrong from my right well, but I, it was a community project. wouldn't necessarily project. say that. So. Well, it ain't going to cost the city nothing. And you want to fix it, I don't have a problem. Get right. after That's, that's the first thing. And I think once um, once we get down to, if it's okay, I can go back into, my next step is actually get the money. You know, we've already got some, but I don't want to start and piece it together. I want to make sure we have the money. And then if we get a wall and we only have so much, then we'll do what that, what that can do. Um, I have quite a few options for that, for the dollar things. Um, so after we get some more of that figured out, like no gas and all electric, I, I may come back and just see um, what you guys are okay with as far as utilities, um, big water and electric. I, I kind of had an idea of putting a little porch on the front, you know, I know that changes the building itself, the, the outside, so I don't know if that takes a zoning, I mean, just a permit maybe, for the rest, I mean, it would be included in the rest of it, but I didn't know since it's that close to the school, that close to, um, I mean, not the school, the football field, he wants to talk. Well, one well, thing I wanted to bring up was that right now it's kind of a the school does use it for uh, track and some football stuff. So I, I didn't. I just wanted to make sure everybody was thinking about this and I'd say, hey, we funded this. You know. I spoke so, with the superintendent and I spoke with um, one other individual with the school. Uh, I'm going to talk to him again and, and maybe look at them as a, maybe a financial source of some or something or maybe even the football players uh, or track or whomever maybe just uh, labor. But I'm talking to the school too about kind of kicking in on it because they do use it to store track stuff and they do use it for football season. So, uh, but I really don't want to take up a whole lot more time with it if it's not the deal that I think you know you guys would be okay with. So that's that's really all I'm after. Everyone on the council is good with you proceeding. Okay. And so um, same thing. Just do it at the same time. Yeah. We'll just do it as consent, and then um, we can make sure that you speak with Mel about when you yeah. get to that point. From about, here, from here on, I'm going to go after the money part of it, and then once I can, once I can get my hands on what I think we're going to need, I've got the dollar amount that, I, that I'm pretty sure we can use. I want to talk to some more people though, but then I'm going to probably be at Mel's here more. And then I'll come back one more time once we figure out what we do something about it. I don't really know who pays for the utilities now. And if it's just one of those, it's like loss of lighting around town kind of thing. It's, well, it's just like I said, one thing that's on, there's no heat in it at all right now, obviously. And the water, water hasn't been on for a couple of years. So I can go forth.
need to remove Kelpar from the fire department. He's no longer lives in the town. And then dates to allow fireworks.
Is that one still out there? Pearl and the third? Second. Second. Yeah, Pearl and second. Gotta know where I live. Yeah, anytime anybody sees it, just call the office and we'll get right on. How's the uh, water supply? It's uh, come on pretty good. Uh, they're predicting start up July, probably 17th, something like that. Very close. Cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 21st is just a reconstruction on the. Uh, that so uh, the council meetings can start uh, being uh, televised live. Uh, he'll try and get that for the next meeting. So we just wanted to say thank you and he apologizes for not uh, getting here for this meeting to get it done. Well, we, we got it ready and yeah, I, that's why I saw it. We we're waiting on each other so whenever it happens, it happens. Yeah. He said, okay. So. <laughs> I talked to Ron and there's a little bit of an issue with that, but it's nothing we need to talk about meeting. I can just show you. Okay.